Um, and, you know, there was a moment where Tay, I was playing defense against Tay, and he went to the hole, and I got elbowed in the face. Like, the first possession. Flagrant elbow. Um, so that was, you know, a welcome to NBA moment. What's up, Detroit Piston fans? Glad to have y'all with me again. Got a topic today that we're going to talk about as far as uh, the Rico Hines runs and how relevant are they when it comes to looking at our Pistons. Should we take anything away from them, good or bad? Should we take anything good or bad away from those Rico Hines runs? Those are just scrimmages, of course. Um, so we want to talk about that today. Had a comment from a um, on Twitter. Someone posted a comment and said, and they were saying, should Piston fans care about those Rico Hines runs? And I was able to uh, reply to it. It was a good question. And my reply was, even though it's light play, it's still good to see our guys. Uh, they didn't look like trash out there. They look like they belong. So although it's nothing to rave about necessarily, it's still a soft gauge to see how they compete and compare to other pros. Um, and I'd like to thank um, Half Court had uh, posted that. And I think um, Sean Murphy uh, was part of that as well. So anyway, um, the point here is that when you look at those scrimmages like that, can we take anything away from them or do we just look at them and just um, shrug our shoulders with it and walk away? Well, for true Piston fans, you enjoy seeing them do anything. I don't care if it's rising stars, you know. <laughs> of course, we're not going to read into, hey, Cade, he, you know, he, he did this better than everybody in rising stars. The point of it is, is that in scrimmages like that, to me, this is my opinion on it, they're still going up against a lot of pro talent. To see them going up up against them and not look like trash is important because a lot of times even in games in years past our pistons looked like trash looked like they didn't even belong on the same court so to see them in runs and scrimmages and they looking out looking like they belong yeah they was getting beat they was getting beat sometimes and probably missing um, 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 uh, defensive assignments or couldn't check their man couldn't stay in front of them they, 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 i mean everybody was doing that everybody was doing that there um you watch some of the rico hines footage you see you see steph curry dog in the whole team pretty much and um, that happens Steph Curry dogs everybody one-on-one -on -one. but in organized basketball and when he's playing against the team they have everybody has assignments he doesn't just drag who's ever checking him. he doesn't just drag them because the team have has assignments you got help defense coming they're playing in these scrimmages um, the teams are split up uh, the Detroit Pistons team, the young court, they're split up. Some players on one team, some players on another team. So the whole team isn't there. So, yeah, you're going to see uh, Steph getting in one-on-one -on -one situations and he's going to destroy somebody. Steph's a world champion. So no one can guard Steph Curry um, if he's hot. This is a smaller gym. It's not the NBA size court. So no one's going to um, take this footage and run with it negatively or positively. But I will say that I appreciate the fact that our guys didn't look like trash out there and they look like they belong. So games and scrimmages like this can be a soft gauge to say, hey, we got some talent here. We got some talent here and some talent that's being respected around the league because you see the footage and the footage shows our team, Cade. Ivy getting to the basket, scoring. Sadiq scoring. Isaiah Stewart scoring against these same pro players as well. So everyone's able to score in the NBA, but it's good to have some players on our team that look solid and competitive against top notch level pros as well, even if it's just a scrimmage. So that's the main point that I wanted to talk about today. Of course, we don't take everything that we see. Uh, we want to take it with a grain of salt, but it's still good to see them being competitive out there. That's all we want. Um, just like the regular season, our record may not be the best. We may make the play in. We may make the playoffs. We may lose the first round. We may make it to the second round. We may not make it to the playoffs at all. But what the Piston fan wants to see right now in this level and this stage of development and restoring is some good competitive basketball. And that's what we're all looking forward to right now as the season approaches us. So just wanted to share that with everybody. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We are at 394 or 95 subscribers right now. And I'm looking as I speak. One second. I'm sorry. We are at 396 subscribers right now. Approaching 400. I appreciate everyone's support. You can check me out on Twitter at Flagrant Elbow, Instagram at Flagrant Elbow. Um, check out my content. 
um, follow me, I follow back. And let's let's all um, continue in this development together. It seems like we're all a part of the Piston team right now. But let's all continue to stay strong, stay focused, um, keep the likes up, keep the subscribe subscriptions up, hit that bell icon so you can be notified. And with that being said, that's all I have for you tonight. So with that, everybody stay safe.